Squad 66. I just flew two packs on the three inch, and I was trying to do some back to backs this, uh, between this uh, 2.5 inch and the three inch digital builds. And funny enough, like with the three inch, I just crashed it so many times that I'm not even going to use that footage because it was just too much me walking and not flying. And with that three inch, I was really trying to give it its fair shake. Um, I think, you know, the three inch in a lot of ways, it's less bothered by the weight than the 2.5. That's just going to be the nature of it, right? Because it's bigger props, um, you know, better power to weight ratio. And I wish it would work. It just doesn't work for me. This um, 2.5 inch is just much more, uh, or much less, I should say, uh, challenging to fly in these tight spaces. Um, I think if you have more space, then certainly that three inch is gonna be compelling. But I think once I'm in a bigger space, I think I want even more than the three inch. Um, and so I've got a plan to build a 3.5 inch and do a dedicated, uh, digital frame for it and it's something specifically to uh, go ahead and carry um, carry the HD zero system and you know the Warpig frame this is developed um, as a uh, as an analog platform and I'm adopting it to a uh, digital platform and there's some trade-offs in the build with that. And so on the 3.5 inch, I just don't want to make any trade-offs. I just want to have it straight optimized. But, I mean, I think this flight is just a good example of, I just couldn't even get a decent pack out of the three inch um, in terms of being worthy. And then, you know, here I am with a 2.5 inch hopping right on it. And you can hear me trying to concentrate a little bit there where I you know, kind of stop talking for a minute. Uh, making some mistakes, not hitting the lines 100% clean. But there's not much of a gap there in fairness to me. Um, but it just feels pretty comfortable, you know? Like, feels pretty comfortable coming in and flying the tight spaces, and I don't feel overwhelmed by it. And there's something to really be said, so I think the more skill you have, the more you can get away with in terms of, like, overpowered quads. But there's also just what's fun. And when I'm really struggling with an overpowered quad, uh, it can be satisfying. But I don't know if I'd consider it, like, super fun. I think I'm getting pretty close to the end of this battery. But this is yet another example of, um, I think this 2.5 inch build is just four digital for my backyard. This is where it's at. Right, I'm not going to push that battery anymore. All right. Till next time. Cheers. Okay, I'm going to give the 3 inch one more shot. I know I already signed off and it's kind of uh, disorienting to hear my sign off and then I'm going to keep the video going. I feel like I need one good run out of this 3 inch. Hopefully I can do it here. Maybe I've like relaxed a little bit, feel a little less pressure. I just needed a few packs. I can fly it. Um, it's just a whole lot of work. So, with the 3 inch, it's got more power, more throw. And I just have to... It's just more work. 
it honestly it feels like taxing you know like it's uh it flies really well but i feel like i'm like having to think about think about all the moves and make sure i hit them because if i don't hit them it's gonna be something ugly uh, in terms of like a big heavy quad crashing um I feel like, all right, you got at least some decent flight footage here. Of course, as I say that, here's a crash, right? But I feel like this has been, this is just kind of a lot of it for me with this three inch in the backyard. I'm doing a whole lot of this. Having to walk over and go and pick it up. And this probably does not make for the most compelling YouTube content, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, I think a lot of people don't give you this content. A lot of people just edit that out. But if you're really thinking about, okay, what do you want to fly? I'm going to show you the whole experience, show you the whole... Uh, Full user experience, including the little walk of shame in there. So, not that this is not a fast quad, right? <laughs> but it's just a, it's a lot of quad. And, you know, if you really get on it. You can rip some pretty fast lines, but that's really kind of me trying to do everything I possibly can to make something look impressive. And it works for a little bit. And then it stops working. And then you gotta get up and you gotta walk. I'm going to go grab the quad, I'm going to sit back down, adjust the goggles, make a bunch of terrible content. This is great content. Um, ooh, there goes the prop. Hear that? Yeah, nice. See if we smoke something. There's a real test of uh, our filters flying this thing. Look at that horrible prop. Hasn't smoked yet. Battery's getting punished though. It's like no reprieve because I'm sure the log looks awful. Yeah. That thing's just soft flutter. Alright. So that's for me a pretty good representation of three inch in the backyard. Um, it works, but it's a whole lot of clog. Alright, for real this time. Until next time, cheers.